A day after his surrender in Atlanta, Donald Trump is a defiant and back on the social media site, formerly known as Twitter. The former U.S. president is capitalizing on his fourth arrest and his historic mugshot to raise money. Prosecutors say he tried to overturn the 2020 election results in Georgia. All 19 defendants except one have been released on bond, and Trump himself is getting ready for another legal battle. Philip Crowther files this report outside the Fulton County Courthouse. Well, that moment captured for posterity, the former U.S. president scowling at the camera uh, for his mugshot. That happened inside Fulton County Jail, where the president, the former president, spent a very short time, around 20 minutes or so. A massive motorcade that you'd usually associate with the current president took him there. That's where he was arrested. He surrendered. Uh, that's where his fingerprints were taken, where that mugshot photo was taken that goes straight into recent American history. And then he was released again to be uh, a free man. But Donald Trump now has an inmate number at Fulton County Jail, even though, of course, there is the presumption of innocence. And Donald Trump has said throughout that he believes he is innocent in this case and keeps on repeating the lies that got him here in the first place. He still says that uh, he is coming here to defend his wrong theory uh, that the presidential election in 2020 was rigged and uh, stolen. He quickly thereafter, after his appearance at this jail, made his way back to his uh, private club in Bedminster. That's uh, in New Jersey. That uh, mugshot, by the way, of the former president, there are 18 others of those because all 19 defendants in this case uh, here in Atlanta have now been booked. They have all had their mugshots taken, the last one just before the deadline here at noon local time on this Friday. And it's a very vast investigation, this one, with 19 defendants who the district attorney here wants to try at the same time, all of them at the same time, in the same trial. And she wants this to happen as quickly as possible. When it comes to Donald Trump's run for the Republican Party nomination, frankly, it does not seem to have a particular impact. Rather, what he's managed to do is he's managed to make each one of these four indictments work for him. The former president, by the way, uh, took advantage of this mugshot in a way. His campaign seems to be rather happy with having that on their hands. They are trying to uh, raise as many funds as they possibly can for their campaign. And it also led to the former president going back to a social media site, X, formerly known as Twitter, that he had abandoned after having been banned from it in the first place. He posted for the first time in a very long time. And what did he post? Well, precisely his mugshot with the text added to that no surrender, of course, ironically, because the thing that he did here in Atlanta yesterday was precisely that. He surrendered to the authorities here.